well know are not agile. I saw your little hat. Yeah. Best day ever. You look so cute. Why are you shaking? I can't believe it's snowing. We were able to come here and, and make this happen. This is uh, going to be the big five star of the year, of course, on the way to the Olympic Games. So here is Lee as we enter the main arena to head to do our cross country test. And we were second to go in the four star. So uh, it was amazing to be able to get the practice of coming here and doing this four star short and uh, giving him this experience of being in the stadium. Mind you, it was a little different without the fans there, but still it's really great practice to be able to do this on this type of stage. So we come down the center line for our halt. That's in a fairly decent halt. My right hind is a little um, lacking to step up to be square, but he steps off really nicely. And we start our shoulder in at S. And he's feeling really nice and relaxed and rideable. Um, it's been quite a nice feeling with him and, and how he is um, dealing with the experience of being here. You can see we go into our half pass. He's very good at those because uh, he's such a nimble and flexible horse. Again, like his nickname can be the wet noodle sometimes because legs go every which way. He steps up nice and square for that halt. And then in our rain back, he gets a little crooked. He sticks his haunches a smidge left, so I lost some points there. But again, I'm really kind of enjoying this ride because he's coming up and through. Everything kind of I've been working on in the season is um, feeling really nice right now. So we're in our second shoulder in. And now heading into our half pass, I have to make sure I keep the shoulders ahead of the haunches because sometimes he can beat me to that sometimes and that felt really good and now preparing for the walk transition making sure I'm getting him to step up and through and now in the medium walk so still have him in a frame but he's overstepping and marching along then it's S to F uh, which is our extended walk. So I'm really trying to get that overstep. And he feels really relaxed. Um, I'm, and I'm trying just to get that nose to pop out instead of he kind of wants to stick it down and curl a little bit. And the judges really want to see them kind of take the contact out. So that's still a work in progress with that. But again, I'm, I'm very comfortable with how he's feeling in, in his rideability. And it's very cold this morning. I believe it was like 36. So in that canter transition, he inverted a little bit, uh, but that's okay. And then we go for the change, and again, <laughs> oh, Lee, 
he just, I asked and he just wasn't home. Uh, he got a little distracted by staring into the stadium a bit there. So I need to kind of work on my preparation for the change for that. Um, cause he did that also at try on. I kind of had the same type of thing happen to me. So in my extent of canter, fairly good. He came back pretty nicely. And now I'm making sure I can get him on my aids so he can hear me for the lead change. That was pretty good, right over the center line. Nice and clean. And now into our half pass. Gets a little um, stuck, I think. I would like to see him jump a little bit and have a little bit better cadence in that canter, but he kind of knows this test too. So down to the trot and then into our final movement of the extended trot. <laughs> Really pushing. I have to work on keeping my right leg a little bit more quiet. I'm good with my left. And then down the center line and halt at L. He puts in a fairly good halt. <laughs> I kind of forgot that judges weren't to the left, but I was very pleased with that test. I thought he should have scored a little bit better, but that's kind of what happens when uh, you go on the first day and you're second to go. Now for the cross country, I was also second to go. So uh, all morning I had been watching the five star and it was proving to be a pretty tough course and the four star was no less of a course by any means. And uh, there had been a significant amount of water that had come down, um, but the ground should be, you know, pretty good. And knowing Lee, he, he's the type of horse that can tend to slip even just on dry ground. So I was pretty aware of how quiet I needed to kind of ride him in the first couple of uh, fences. So coming to the first two, I just was trying to set a rhythm and then I came and kind of shut him down a little too much at that big table. And I said, okay, come on, we've got to go. We got some big stuff to do. Um, and then coming around to the next trichaner, which again helps sets us off and getting in a better rhythm and he did that pretty good and out of stride. And uh, then coming up to the very first question, which was a 4A and B, it's a pretty big oxer, to four strides to a chevron. And I wanted to make sure I got a nice, good shot in. Um, had to make sure I protect that left shoulder from popping out. So I'm gonna keep my outside rein, really kind of bring it over so I controlled it. He got on down there really nicely in the four. So it was pretty pleased with how that felt and now heading on down to the uh, first water I have another big table to do and he's feeling pretty good here again you'll you can hear him if you go and watch just my helmet cam you can hear the water splashing but the ground is holding so far and it feels pretty good so I'm feeling pretty confident with kind of how we're going making sure I set off in a pretty good pace and then heading to this other massive table jumps that nicely out of stride now coming to this water I really wanted to make sure I rode over to the left side of the log because again I know Lee can have a left corner issue so I wanted to do this in the bending four and really work off that holding that left shoulder and he just did that spot on perfect it happened so fast it kind of felt like I pulled left right and then pulled back right but on the video it looks like we knew what we were doing uh, <laughs> heading to this other big table jumps that really nicely and then the next were uh, two angled houses 
And again, I always want to make sure I'm protecting that left shoulder or that left drift a little bit. So you see I carry kind of my stick in my left hand. And uh, he jumped and kind of stalled in the air. And I had to kind of open my hands and be like, go on, get down for the one. And he did. I was pretty pleased with how that felt. And then he kind of spooked crossing over the road. But that's okay. He's just getting kind of used to the feel. So now we're heading to the bounce bank down. And I want to make sure I have the canter. I'm going to kind of hold him back and balance a little bit. He does the drop really good and then pushed on for the four over this massive skinny table thingy. I was very pleased with how he did that line. And so now heading up the hill to we just have another kind of bump in the road, a little hut jump coming up next. And then we have the big bank down. So I'm kind of making sure I have my plan of how I want to ride that. And he jumps this really nice. And then he spooks a little bit at the apple things, goober. Um, but I'm kind of riding my line a little bit over to the left side because I'm planning on adding. And I go to give him his head. He's a good boy. He drops down and kind of just pops the reins. And I had to do a quick shuffle. And then we squeaked in the four. Oh, bless him. Such a good man. Very, very proud of him holding that line for me there. And I felt more confident with that uh, because it was a right-handed corner. But goodness, he was good to lock on to the flag. So I'm feeling pretty good about that now. And uh, heading to this next oxer. And now coming to the water. And again, my plan was to do the add, not really do the direct. Because I was trying to build up his confidence here. We get in. Nice and quiet. He was good there. Steadied over the goose and then locked on and did the four instead of a direct three. But I was really quite pleased with that and asked him to kind of kick on here. And I'm able to find a really nice shot to that big brush table and he steps over it really good. And now we have a pretty long gallop to the double corners and I'm feeling pretty confident because he hasn't slipped at any point yet, um, and I've been kind of cooking along. So I had my plan of coming direct to these corners. So I was just going to balance a little bit, and uh, I come up to it, and I see my distance, and I think to myself, yep, there it is. Got it. And then <laughs> the next minute I think, oh, God, no, I don't got it. And then the next minute I'm like, oh, i got to keep kicking. Uh, what an amazing horse through there. He totally slipped. And then he just kept going for me. And this is where I made the mistake because I keep kind of kicking on here and I should have regrouped, settled him back and gave him a second. And I needed to really collect him here. I still have him pretty open. Um, and I just kind of keep on moving down. And it was he had lost some confidence because of that corner. And I knew it the minute that that happened, what I had done wrong. So I just took a second. Knew I had to collect him up, give him just a little tap, say, come on, stay on my leg a little bit. Kept him together, like in a proper coffin canter, like I know to do. Uh, and then he peeked at it, but he, he did it. Um, so really just kicking myself there, because I just came in really too hot and open, uh, especially for what he needs uh, for this course. He, he likes me to ride him really kind of connected and I just had him a little bit too open so coming to this other table I got him to a little bit of a close spot but he's a powerful horse and got up and over it and now heading up to the last corner and this was quite a question so I wanted to make sure since I had kind of that stop that I made sure that I got him collected back and the Sometimes I almost think I'm not coming in with enough power with Lee, but this is kind of where he likes it. And he, he squeaks in, but he is confident about it. And then we're able to do that, and I had to... I got distracted with the other horse, honestly, coming right at me for a second. Uh, but he jumped that corner great, and then I got almost a little lost um, in the ropes. <laughs> kind of weird to say, because I'm used to there just being one set of ropes in Kentucky. Um, but... Again, it's great to be able to get this experience on them. And this was a rather 
This was a tough cross country, but I felt like he came home with a little bit more experience and I also have more experience and knowledge of how to ride him in these type of conditions and it's something that, you know, we need to gain more experience with. So I was really pleased with how he handled himself and uh, how hard he tried for me in, in that round. As long as we don't step out of our bucket, we'll be fine. <laughs> Did you get a new mask? <laughs> it came in the thing. Lucky. Oh, you got one too. I stole it. She stole one. Nice. I well alerted done. her to it by stealing one. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted it. You're like, they're actually yours. Uh, they're yours. <laughs> Here is Elise Wallace. Let it be lead number 102. Accepted. Now on to the third day. Uh, so this for short is a little bit different than past for short. Sometimes we can do a show jump before cross country, uh, but this was formatted to do show jump after, which is actually good practice for when we do our long. So this was my warm up with Lee. I had practiced a couple of small oxers just to get my eye going and then we build up the oxers to where they're proper height and he's really jumping great. He's feeling super good and recovered great after cross country. Um, so we're just kind of going through here and then you'll see my dad then kind of after the oxer we're allowed for FEI to do a 21 foot which I really like to do. Um, combination there it helps me remember to hold my shoulders to stay still with my upper body I tend to like to get a little fast and then after we do that then they uh, make just a single vertical for well, you coming in. Also to go down. Let it be so I was one, really oh, pleased two. with how Lee jumped in the warm up he's actually been super all week long he really likes Kentucky very similar to Johnny, so that made me really happy. Um, so I came in for the show jump. We were in uh, 17th place after cross country. Even with our stop in time, we managed to move up. Um, and so I had saluted once, but the judges didn't see me, so I saluted again. So then they rang the buzzer. And I was able to watch a couple of rounds go, and I knew the time was going to be a little tight. So I had had a plan of coming and doing this first line in the seven. Uh, but as I come to the first fence, I kind of feel him kind of stick up in the air a little bit. And I thought, nope, i got to do the add here. So I made sure I did that soon enough. Did the eight, and he jumped that really well. And I wanted to make sure that I kept really coming around the turns um, and then this line rode in a nice five to a one. And I really, that rail was so cheap. <laughs> it literally fell after I was out of the combination. And then I hung a little wide here. I lost some seconds in that turn. I really needed to be a little bit more mindful of my ringmanship. But boy, he was jumping super good. And then coming to this, I decided to take the skinny, which was the natural, and he just kind of clipped it with that right front. 
Um, and then heading to the Mars to jump the next one. Great. But I made that decision because sometimes he can jump brown fences a little funny. He has a hard time reading it. So I still had the rail, but that was what my decision was. And then we had to work going through the triple. He kind of stood off of it a bit, but he was jumping super good. Balanced here for this vertical. And now coming to the last line, I kind of had made my decision to add and do the six. And he was just super nice and quiet and rideable. Uh, we had the two rails and uh, four seconds over, but I was super pleased with his performance and how our... Uh, relationship is really starting to develop and was really proud of Lee this weekend. We ended up finishing 17th. Well, oh, you <laughs> 